Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can highlight a row with current dates in Microsoft Excel. In the previous video, I have showed you how you can do it with columns and in this video, I'm going to do it with rows and we are not going to use VBA. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> So this is my empty worksheet and I'm going to enter date here. Control semicolon to enter date and let's drag it. Let's say I have 10 dates and I want to highlight the row that has today's date. Okay, so I'm going to highlight this row and tomorrow I want to highlight this row and I want it to be dynamic. Okay, and I'm going to use conditional formatting to do it and I'm going to highlight the whole row. That's why let's select the whole row and this data range and click on conditional formatting click on new rule and click on use formula to determine which cell to format so first one we are going to format this cell so select that and remove this dollar sign i want it to move around and let's write equal to today's date that means today and parenthesis if i click on format and you can do it whatever you like in former cells you can change fonts you can change border you can change fill i'm going to simply add a fill color or highlight this color and if i click ok and click ok again you can see this row has been highlighted because it has today's date now let's test it will tomorrow it will highlight this row or not simply change my computer time and change the date to tomorrow's date and you can see it's already automatically highlighting the rows with the date so this is a dynamic function here and you can use it whenever you need and all the time you open your workbook it will search for today's date and whenever it find the dates it will highlight the whole row this is what i wanted to show you hope you like this video please support the channel through patreon don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial thank you